on here. This is how our 510 kit comes. Uh, it comes with two batteries, charger, a wall plug for the USB charger, comes with two atomizers and five empty cards. Take your cover off. You fill this up with liquid in here. Fill this well and then you put it on your atomizer and it's supposed to vape liquid down into this atomizer. Now the atomizer is basically just a little heating element. It goes on your battery. This one already has some liquid in it uh, because I've been using it. But that's basically it. You press the button, the end lights up, and you vape it. So, again, I don't know anybody that even uses these uh, anymore. Uh, they're basically, they never really worked well. There are some people, mild vapors, that'll use these. They come in the kit, so I don't take them out. I sell those separately for people that do like them, but I don't sell a lot of them. In here also is two atomizers. Like so, I have a different one here that I'm going to use for the purpose of this video. And basically what you do when you get your kit is you assemble it. This is a drip tip. They come in an assortment of sizes, shapes, colors. Uh, you basically put your liquid in here. Blow it down in there. And vape. So these come, 510, the, the, the fitting on it, they work with a number of different atomizers and cardamizers. One of those, it's very popular, is the 306. Now this, this isn't a standard 306. This has a drip tip on it also. But to show you the difference, this, the 306 is an exposed bridge atomizer. It has the same connector as a 510, but a lot of people prefer these. They, you know, they get different, uh, a, a stronger flavor from them or a stronger hit or a warmer hit. They come in a number of uh, varying ohms, which basically makes it burn hotter or cooler, all depending on the user's likings. Uh, that's one of those now. A 510 also is compatible with a Riva slash Ego <coughs> type battery. I happen to have a Riva battery here that that'll work on also. Now there's also cones that come over this that you can put on there to cover it up. And Let me get one and I'll show you. And basically that will cover the end of it and make it look like a little torpedo or whatever you want to call it. And these also, when screwed on, will catch liquid. If you over drip, that'll keep the liquid out of there. It'll also change the airflow a little bit, a little, you know, for some people uh, prefer that. Now again, these all come in a variety of drip tip color, shapes, sizes, they're to your liking. Uh, some people like the shorter ones, some people like long, longer ones. They have bigger, we have bigger, fatter ones like this. The same thing with the 306. There's a number of uh, shapes and sizes of the 306 atomizer. An assortment of uh, the drip tips for that. I'm sorry, there's only one size 306 atomizer, but there's a number of different atomizer drip tips. It's a little dry. Put a little liquid in there. In this particular one, you can see the liquid run down in there. So that's that. Now, 
that being said, a lot of people, the, the 510 is a great little battery, great little kit. The batteries don't really last that long. You could go through with these, one of these in a couple hours. They're only 180, 150, or 180 mile, I believe. Uh, when the battery goes dead, you screw it into your charger. Plug the charger in your computer or your wall plug. And plug it into the wall. Uh, this will turn red when it's finished charging, it'll turn green. A lot of people uh, prefer the Reva or the Ego batteries uh, because they, they, they're 650 mAh. They'll last two or three times as long uh, as, a regular, as a normal battery. We also have now variable voltage batteries with indicators on them. This is a variable uh, battery. It's available on the site. You press this five times and you notice the, the LED ring color. Right now it's blue. That's all the way up. Press it five times. It turns red. That's 3.2 volts. Press it five more times. It's red and blue, purple, and that's uh, 3.7 volts. Press it five more times. It's 4.2 volts. Now this will, will give you maximum performance out of your uh, co-atomizers and or atomizers. Notice a big difference in vapor from that. Uh, and that's because it's I've got it turned all the way up and it's warmer and it'll give you more vapor. So, again, uh, these work with a number of different atomizers and cardamizers. You can get dual coil cardamizers, clear, metal, black, whatever. You can get regular 510 cardamizers uh, like this, which I'm going to do a little uh, fill thing here. If you get a cardamizer, they're different. They have a filler inside of them. Uh, these are refillable. They'll hold anywhere from, you know, depending on the size, anywhere from one to uh, three mils of liquid. The way you want to fill these, the simplest way to fill these. Now you could just take these and drip right in them. What I like to do is keep this on when you get it out of the pack. This is your condom or, or cardamizer cover. There's one with a little hole in it. And there's one that has a little, one end has like a little plug in it that plugs this end up. You want to take that out of there and prefer, I like to use this end because it's nice and flat in there. Fill this up with liquid. We're halfway, three quarters of the way. You want to just take your cardamizer and slide it right down in there. If you watch, this is a pre-filled cardamizer, so this is pretty full already. But if you look here, you'll see it start to come out of the end there. Uh, that's basically what you would do, but this, you know, if this was an empty cardamizer, it would obviously it would take a lot more. Whenever you fill these, you always want to take a tissue because they're more absorbent than a napkin and wipe your end out really well. Also, when you fill a, a cardamizer, you want to let them sit from 15 minutes to 30 minutes uh, before using it. Uh, these will give you you know, with cardamizer, atomizer, it's basically a, a matter of preference. Some people don't like to drip all the time. They'd rather have something uh, when you're driving. Some people use everything. I use them all. I, use, I like to use these when I'm on the road or uh, when I just don't feel like dripping. It's a little bit di different flavor, but they're, uh, you know, very, very similar. Wow. Yeah, this is too wet, so this, again, you should really let these sit for 15 minutes or so. Another type of cardamizer we have here is a 3 mil cardamizer. These, this is actually a twisted uh, cardamizer. They're available on Howard.com. They're a little fancier. They come in a number of shapes and sizes, and uh, 
don't know if you can hear that. When you go from cardamizer to atomizer to different types, you'll notice there's a little pin in here. There's also a little pin on your cardamizers. It normally happens with the battery. That pin will get pushed down in there. So if you look at different cardamizers and that sort of thing, you'll see that some of them, the pin on those sticks out a little more. Well, that center pin there will get pushed down in. So one of the things you want to do, or the thing that you want to do more, is just get down in there and pry it from side to side. Don't pull on it. Don't pull it up. Just push it one side and then push it to the other side. And that will pop up. And uh, it'll allow your, your cardamizer and or atomizer to work. Uh, again, you could take this battery and put an atomizer on there and or a cardamizer with a ring, without a ring, uh, cone rather. Like so... Great hit from that. So, you know, you'll normally get a very similar hit from a 510 battery, but it'll be a little bit lighter. You know, this is a, a, a hard cell comparison right here that I'm doing because uh, that's a vary volt and I happen to have it turned all the way up. But if you, if you had a 510 on a regular 510, You take a longer, slower hit, keep it wet. That's another option. We also have the Reva kit that comes in a kit carrying case like this. It's basically this, it comes with a cone, two atomizers. Uh, those come with low resistance atomizers that will uh, burn much warmer and give you a lot better vapor and uh, basically that's it.